Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I thought maybe I build a grid today and I already started here, but I thought maybe I should switch on uh, my OBS just, just to record the process. And uh, yeah, I want to do something like, um, or start at least with some kind of rhythmic content. So making some drums in the grid. So I thought you're just using a filter and an envelope to get some sounds. Let me see here. Let me switch this off. And maybe I can also pitch modulate here to filter. So we can save basically another envelope to everything just with one envelope. So the pitch modulation and the amplitude amp modulation here. Something like this. So this could be a nice kick drum. Um, maybe to make a snare drum, we could maybe increase here the speed of this and then switch between different settings. You know what I mean. Um, let's use a gate just to save on some of these um, uh, modules. So now when we hit basically this step here, we want to let me use a modulator. I want to switch it to different frequency. Maybe shorten this. Maybe we need a bit of noise. Uh, maybe I mix this in here. So let's use, um, let's use a mixer maybe, because we need them. So something like this, right? So we modulate this here for the hi-hats and uh, for the kick drums, it's just default state. And for the snares, we have also your modulations. Maybe a high pass here. Stereo noise. Okay. We can put this here. Yeah, this is more like a maybe a bit of distortion. So this is for me, for me is this is limitation, right? You limit yourself to just one envelope and the filter and the mixer and then 
you focus yourself on modulations, how you can tweak this small little patch with modulations to get the most out of it. And now we get a kick drum, a snare, kind of a snare. Yeah, remove the modulation here, the pitch modulation for the snare a bit. That's better. Um, maybe hit play here. We see just loop this. And then use groove. Maybe we, we can tweak this a bit here with some bandpass filtering. Um, let's start with the SVF here. Uh, maybe we should modulate this here a bit. Let's use an LFO and just change it the frequency. And I think there needs to be some kind of delay here. Maybe there's a blend also to mix it with a dry signal. Um, Do it like this. Maybe slow this down at yeah, the bar, three bars. Sounds better. And then maybe also a mixer here. And we go with dry signal in there and also here with the filter signal. Or maybe put this, um, this down here. Yeah, we could maybe also could maybe use here a quantizer <clears throat> to pitch this more like a bit more musical, right? This opening of the filter, uh, uh, we go with the LFO then in the pitch quantizer here. We dial in, of course, D sharp polarity. And then we go here into the pitch mod all the way up. And then we change the amount with an attenuate instead. Yeah, we can even use this as a melody maker. Mm. So instead of the LFO, maybe I use here something different. Let, let me use here an oscilloscope. So we have basically an up and down movement here. So maybe we can interfere this or make this a bit more interesting by using a long delay. Long delay. Now we can go back into the LFO and do some self modulation.
That's more interesting, right? So maybe put this here after. I'll change this. And also go bipolar because we want to have something also below C3. So bipolar, so we go also in the negative range. Oh, that's too much. It looks good. So we need a sample and hold here. Also transpose because I want to go here to D sharp three. Okay, fine. So now this is a melody generator here. <laughs> this uh, basically this modulation to open up the filter became some kind of melody generator. Also can do is maybe use an octava just to pull this down one octave. So we basically do drums, kick, hi hat, snare with just this, uh, with just this filter, and also the melodies. Not with this filter, we do it with this filter here, but or with this filter is the melody here on top. So maybe we can diffuse the signal a bit more to get something more than just only a delay. Um, let me see. So this is the melody and the filter of the drums. Um, so let's use some Alpass filters here. And maybe a merge and a split. So before we go into the delay, we go into this and then we go into the delay. And maybe we use also blend here so we can mix and match. put this over here okay our pass goes on top so we can basically plant here between the tri signal going from the SVF into the mod delay and we can also blend into the signal goes into Alpass devices and then into modulate mod delay so we can mix in here uh, the Alpass diffusion. So we need some different settings for the left and the right channel. Maybe I go to 80 here and 90 there. Here, 
hit it there. So yeah, we could maybe modulate the resonance also so we can switch between only the drums and then when we increase this, we get these melodies. So maybe I try a dice and I trigger this dice, of course, here with the triggers. Get the modulator out and then modulate this. So every time we trigger this, we get a different resonance and sometimes it's just pure drums and sometimes it's, you know, self-resonating. We could also delay the second signal from the drum signal just with the long delay so now the melody signal here is 360 notes offset is a 60 note yeah so they are not basically synchronized or on top of each other they're a bit offset So what we, what else can we do? We can change the melody, of course, here with the self-resonating LFO. And we have here the attenuate. Just the note range. Maybe here yeah, the modulator is. This is this is always hard to find your sweet spots until it sounds nice. A second melody line would be nice. We could try here to use voice text to just duplicate this whole thing. It switches to two voice deck modulator. And the second voice is a bit different from the first voice. It uses different triggers. Maybe 
I should use a clock on Tizer, yeah? And another trigger. Um... This one octave lower. could even remove the drums in the second voice completely. We have two melody lines. I like it. Oh yeah, sure, I, you don't see what's going on on this voice now. Of course, we have multiple voices. Hmm. Damn it. Okay, I see. Thank you. 
This is chill out for me. Just tweaking around and having a nice background melody. So maybe we can switch this here for probabilities. Make the probability a bit lower. Maybe also an envelope here after the melody. This could be nice. Um, let's use an AD here. Switch this off. Also a dice, because we want to open up here. We filter a bit, so we trigger this dice. Take the value of this dice and change the decay time here a bit. This sounds nice, but it's, it's still missing a bass, so we probably have to introduce here another voice. Because I just increased this voice here by two octaves higher. And we make this a bit quieter, the second voice here. Okay, so voice deck, three voices, and the third voice, it's also no drums, and the octave is two octaves lower. And Maybe three octaves lower. So now we need something to change basically the melody over time because you can see when we dial in here a self resonating or a self-feedback kind of thing, at a certain point it settles for a pattern. So we can change the melody by changing here the modulation amount, or we can change it by changing the delay times. Second voice is still too loud. Hmm.
So this should change here every four or eight bars. So we get a different melody. This would be nice. Fix goes into here. Hmm. So how do we change this? We can just use Just use a dice here and we use a trigger, which is a value, and this modulates this long delay here. Maybe we start with one and go all the way up to seven or to eight. And then we use an LFO, classic LFO. Uh, go for 32 bars. I uh, see it's really triggered when you switch back here to zero. Maybe we can also use random, maybe? Polyphonic, three. Bar. Maybe 16 bars, every 16 bar. And then we modulate here the value. When the value reaches above 0 0.5, then we trigger the styles. The styles then generates random value. This random value then changes here the long delay setting, which generates a new mel melody. Okay, this is the plan. This with the probabilities, lower probabilities here. So the rhythm changes a bit. Sort of short here. more bass. Nice. <laughs> I think that's already it. Because of the voice text, we have basically this uh, three times with different modulations, different settings. So it's much, much complexer than it actually looks. 
I mean, it it looks still complex, but not that complex. So let's get a swarm here. Let's get um pitch quantizer here. And also an sample and hold. No range. Transpose. Let's trigger this slowly. in so we need to play this a bit slower here I have this also here in the FX, right? It's basically here. of a bad hat in the back background. Let's try your wavetable with unison.
not sure. Maybe more in the background. Okay. Little bit of Tetris. Doesn't do much, but kind of want to have something in the background. doesn't fit really. So maybe we can introduce here just some more oscillators. Um, let me see. Um, maybe another wave table. A different pitch quantizer. this of course I only want to have this on one voice the filter let's go for an MG way too random. Hmm. So we can make this a bit less random with the delay. 
that's for sure. Because you get some repeats in there. this up an octave or something like this. Fusion would also be nice up here. And blend it with a dry signal. Maybe this in front of the delay. Yeah, also better, better. Pass. It's almost like a like a track, like a real track. Complex enough. Maybe modulating this here with some modulators. Bar. Or bars.
would be also pretty much a late tier bit. Ah, I like it. Yeah, when we modulate this here, the drums also change a bit over time. I like it. Maybe this is a bit quieter here. And I think that's probably it. Okay, let's save this. Generate this. Um, what's the name? <laughs> I feel like this. Um, um, ensemble. Okay, done. Thanks for watching, guys.